Okay, continuing with this series, working with Blender 2.60, the game engine, and working with Python scripts. Going over some very basic stuff here. So far, uh, two things that we've learned in this series is um, to move an object and rotate an object. Well, today we're going to move, then rotate an object. Uh, probably just this default cube here. Let's start off by creating a script here. So I'm going to change this to a text editor. I'm going to say new text block. We'll call it move rot. So move rotate. You can call it whatever you'd like. And uh, then I'll turn on all this formatting stuff I like to have on. And we're going to say import Blender Game Engine module. So import BGE. And then we're going to uh, get our, our object or owner. So I'm going to say owner. Spelling it properly would help. Um, and that's the name of the object. You can call that whatever you'd like. It doesn't have to be owner. And we're going to say use the Blender Game Engine module. Use the logic from that. And then we're going to get the current controller and as I said in previous tutorials, depending on whether you need to access the controller or just the owner, you can do this in two lines, but we're going to do it in one. And we're going to say dot owner. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to make the object move up. Uh, so that would be the z-axis. So I'm going to say z as a variable here equals whatever the owner, the object we just uh, created here dot location I'm sorry not yeah local position and we don't want all the X Y and Z all we care about now is Z so that's retrieving the location so now let's work on resetting location we're going to say owner dot local position dot Z plus equals dot one so each time this little script loops, it is going to add point 0.1 to the position moving up on the z-axis of the object. Uh, and then we're also going to say print, and then in parentheses we'll say z, which is our variable we created up here on line 5. Now, what the print does, as we mentioned in the past, if you're going to be doing scripting like this, you shouldn't just open up Python, you should open up Python in a terminal. So when we start running this script by hovering, oh, I almost forgot again, I always forget to link the object. Let's split this screen, make this a logic editor, and with the cube selected, we're going to say always, turn on pulse mode here, and we're going to add a Python script. And let's uh, make this a little bit bigger for you guys to see. We're going to say our script that we just created. I'm going to hit control. That was control up arrow with the cursor hovering over that screen to make it full screen. Control down arrow to go back to non full screen. And now if I hit P, you can see the box is moving up. Our cube is moving up. And if we look at our terminal, you can see that it's printing Z every time it loops. So this is the position, the Z position of our cube. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say anytime this number, whatever it may be at the time, anytime it's over, we'll say 5, then we're going to stop moving and we're going to start rotating. So let's go ahead and press escape to get out of game mode. And we're just going to add a very simple if then statement. So now we're going to say if z is less than Five, and don't forget our colon there and we'll indent that and we will bring our print up there so anytime it is less than five go ahead and move it on up and let us know what it is by printing it else meaning anything else if it is not less than five any other number we are going to take the owner dot and we're going to apply a rotation to it and inside um, parentheses and inside square brackets uh, I'm gonna have it rotate on the z-axis so we're gonna say 0 for x 0 for y and we'll say 0 0.1 for z so we'll continually add 0 0.1 to the rotation of the cube so now 
if we press P up here, it moves up. And when it gets greater than 5, it starts rotating. And it will just continue to do that forever <laughs> until we tell it to stop. Hit escape to get out of that. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do here is let's uh, slow this down a little bit. We'll change this to point zero 0.02 just to give me a little... So that slows down the movement. I'm going to hit escape there. Start again and I'll drag in. Here you can see the number going up, number going up, and boom, once it gets over 5, it will start rotating. Now you might be going, oh, it says 4.999, it's not over 5. Well, it was at this point. As you can see in our script, it says to only print it when it's below 5. So the second we get over 5, we stop getting that output. Now we can always add some more output within our next step, the else part of our script, um, but not really necessary in this case. So... Uh, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. hope you're learning quite a bit. And I hope you find it useful. And uh, I hope that you visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Also help support the site by going to filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon. Uh, if you like buying stuff online, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but help support, support the site if you go to that link, which will be in the description as well. And I hope that you have a great day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Buying stuff online. Uh, using filmsartchris.com forward slash Amazon. Don't spend any more than I normally would, but I get to help a site that I like to, to support. So, so that's why I use filmsartchris.com forward slash Amazon. And I think everybody should. Especially if you like the site, filmsartchris.com.